Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to look at how you can work with transparent self-adhesive sheets. These are absolutely fantastic for things like acrylic blocks, for things like lanterns, great for table decorations at weddings. They are so, so beautiful and they're so easy to use. So you can see that I'm in design space. So the first thing I just want to say is my flowers are from design bundles and I will put a link to those below. Also, this text is The Skinny and this one is Samantha. So with this one, I want them all to cut out, but I only want my square to cut out. So I want everything to print and then I just want the square to cut. So the first thing I want to do is obviously make sure that everything is sized correctly and I'm happy with the colours. I'm then going to come in and highlight all and I'm going to go to flatten. So what it will do is it will print all of these out, but rather than cutting everything out individually, it will only cut my square out. Now with this one, the text I'm actually going to have on the front of my acrylic block, I'm going to have it in a vinyl. So I need to move that for the time being because I don't need that. Now with this one, I'm actually going to have it on the back of my acrylic block, which means when we come to cut it, it needs to be mirrored. However, because the print and cut is going to put them on the same canvas, if I mirror, this one is going to end up being mirrored as well. And I don't want this one mirrored. So the easy way around that is to come in and highlight the first thing I want to do is flatten and then I'm going to come up to flip and I'm going to flip horizontal. Now because I need it mirrored, obviously it's going to print out like this, but because I'm going to use the sticky side to adhere it, it will flip it round. So this is why I'm mirroring it here and not on the next step. So once everything's how you want it, you can then go to make it. We can then go to continue. So today I'm using self-adhesive printable sheets. These are great because they're clear. So they're really good for projects like this. These ones are from GM Crafts, but you can get them from Amazon and eBay. I've got some eBay ones which are great. So I'm going to send to printer. Now I'm using inkjet ones today, but you can also get laser printer ones. You can get glossy ones, you can get matte ones, there's all different types out there. I'm using the glossy ones today, but the matte ones are great as well. As always, you can choose whether to have your bleed on or off. Because we've actually flattened, we won't have a bleed around everything, but I'm going to switch mine off anyway. And we can then go to print. Once it's printed, you'll need to cut it. So we're going to go to browse all materials. We're going to go all the way down. And under other is adhesive sheet double sided. I use this setting for all of these transparent self adhesive sheets and it works great. So this is what the self-adhesive printable sheet looks like. You can just see it's white and then it'll either come in gloss or matte. And there is actually a clear transparent film on there. You can see that that is now printed out. So I've placed it on my green mat immediately after printing. Now I am going to go in with my fabric brayer rather than a scraper because a scraper is going to take this off. You want to go in with a non-stick roller or a fabric brayer preferably or if you have only got a scraper just go in around your print and cut area and try and avoid your actual ink area. So I'm just going to go in with my fabric brayer and we can then put it through the machine on the adhesive sheet double sided setting. So that's now cut out so we're just going to grab a corner and we're just going to peel back and you can see that that then we And I'm just going to snip between them so they become individual. 
You then want to leave them to dry for about 10 minutes just to make sure that your ink, if you're using an inkjet printer, is completely dry. So I've got some transfer tape here, so I'm just going to transfer it the way you normally would. So I'm just going to go in with my brayer from the front. And then from the back. I'm then just going to peel away the backing. I'm then going to come and place it on my lantern and I can just peel back and I'm just going to go in with my finger and just smooth that out and you've then got a lovely stained transparent image. So here I've got an acrylic block which I get from acrylic crafts. Again, I'm going to place my transfer tape over and I'm going to roll it from the front and then from the back. I can then place it on the back of my block and I'm just going to go in with my fabric brayer and I can then peel back. This is the back where we've applied our adhesive transparent sheet and this is then the front. We've then got our vinyl, so this is part of Crafty Cutter's Pastel Vinyl Collection. This is Pinky Peach. 